this is something that we can all do. It helps to understand how to think ecologically, and it leads to a, a, a sense as to uh, how this can be scaled up uh, so that it can be applied to uh, produce food. Jerry Northrup and I are founders of Econet. We're inviting you, citizen scientists, to try out an ecotechnology that Jerry has developed. I am Andrus Kulikauskas. This is Math for Wisdom. Let me describe something that I have spent uh, a lifetime working on that I think translates into something that all of us can do to better understand uh, how to think ecologically uh, and, and how this can generate a better understanding of who we are and, and how we interact with the world. And here is, I've been involved with ecotechnology for a long time, and I've uh, founded a company called Timberfish. And here is one of the, um, the systems that we did with, with Timberfish. If you look at the first slide, uh, this is a system that takes the uh, waste stream from a distillery, uh, mixes it with wood chips, uh, grows microbes on the wood chips, invertebrates eat the microbes. We prevent these to the fish. The fish eat the invertebrates and the flock, the microbial biomass, and the system then produces uh, food. And it produces also clean water. It can be run so that it produces uh, from the residual wood chips enough electricity to run the system um, and it can produce a um, um, slow release nutrient potting soil. So the second slide shows an aerial view of the system. The bottom sections show where the microbial biomass is working on the wood chips and the, and the stillage from the, the brewery and up towards the top or the distillery. Up at the top are our fish tanks and worm farms. Um, the you know, third slide shows what this looks like when we put it inside a uh, a hoop house structure. So you can see the uh, the bioreactor components off on the right hand side where the wood chips and the biomass are functioning. And on the left, you can see the fish tanks with with uh, wood chip filters above them. Um, and the fourth slide shows what a, a fish tank can look like with a a biomass filter just above it. Uh, that you can grow watercress on and, and what have you. Uh, and here's a catfish that we raised in the system. Uh, here are freshwater shrimp that we raised in the system. So this is a, a way of dealing with uh, an eco-technology. But the, um, the next slide shows a schematic of what this actually does. And this takes the biology that is working on that larger scale system and takes it down to a tabletop um, aquarium model that anybody can build and, and run, which demonstrates uh, how this system works. Uh, and you can see there's wood chips uh, that are irrigated up on top on the right-hand side. There are wood chips that are half uh, submerged and half irrigated. And then there's wood that is just down below that is submerged all the time. So different kinds of bacteria will grow on the wood chips. Uh, if you add some nutrients as well, uh, there are different kinds of invertebrates that will will eat the bacteria, uh, ranging from protozoa all the way up to snails and worms and insect larvae and what have you. And then you give the fish access to this and they can go in and eat the invertebrates and eat the biosolids. Uh, so this is something that, that you could do on a very small scale that illustrates the ecological principles that are the larger system does. And the next slide shows how this actually can be scaled uh, to deal with any kind of nutrient source. It could come from a dairy cow. Uh, it can come from a, a, a distillery. It can come from just uh, nutrients. And you use this in, in the uh, timberfish system to produce fish. You take wood chips from forests. Uh, which you mix in with the nutrients to grow the fish, and you get a uh, renewable energy fraction from it, and you can get a uh, organic uh, type of fertilizer that you can apply to the fields, which raise uh, feed for the cows, 
or it can raise uh, fruits and vegetables and and what have you that we can eat. And the whole thing is is very sustainable. It can be applied on large scales anywhere in in the uh, world. Uh, the next slide shows a uh, a little more sophisticated. This would be a twenty gallon aquarium uh, to illustrate these kinds of principles. Uh, you can see that it's like the first one that we showed with an additional irrigated uh, chip filter above the uh, fish tank is fish part of it itself. This is kind of like the uh, the fish tank with a watercress above it that was showed in the fourth slide. Uh, the next slide shows a, a system of what this would actually look like in in real world thing. On the left hand side is a 10 gallon aquarium and it has the wood chip zones as in the diagram. Uh, the right hand side would be a 20 gallon aquarium which has larger wood chips and bones above it and a, a smaller, uh, smaller partially uh, submerged wood chip basket beneath one of the irrigated baskets up on top and then uh, a structure which would hold some wood sticks and, and wood below so that uh, uh, you could get microbial biomass growing on that. You could get a, a small snail, which would can, can take off the biomass flock on the submerged wood chips and can climb up uh, to the irrigated wood chips up in the additional basket. And the final slide again shows schematic diagrams on this, but this is this is something that we can all do. It helps to understand how to think ecologically, and it leads to a, a, a sense as to uh, how this can be scaled up uh, so that it can be applied to, to uh, produce food, uh, to produce um, uh, potting soil, uh, to help incentivize reforestation, uh, and all of these are, are good things that um, gives us a, a better sense as to how we can interact with our environment and how we actually end up uh, uh, functioning ourselves because we're a, an ecosystem just like, like these. Uh, we have bacteria living in our body and, and uh, we eat food and and the bacteria work on that and, and we breathe out carbon dioxide. So it's, it's similar to this, this kind of system, but it, it gives us a way to, uh, to understand an ecological uh, type of thinking that is different from uh, a machine type of, of uh, thing, which uses a lot of, uh, of cheap energy from fossil fuels and what have you. It, it becomes a real sustainable universe. Uh, that we can get involved with on a local level and then can, can help scale it up. Learn more about becoming a citizen scientist with Timberfish Technologies by reading through the description of this video and going to the website Econet, spelled www.e-c-o.net. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, go to mathforwisdom.com or simply read the description to this video to learn how you can join our Math for Wisdom discussion group and our study groups. Thank you for liking this video, for subscribing to this YouTube channel, and for supporting Math for Wisdom through Patreon. I became a Math for Wisdom Patreon supporter. I went to the webpage patreon.com, found Math for Wisdom, and after just a few minutes of filling a few things out, boom, I was a Math for Wisdom Patreon supporter. You can do it too.